Welcome to the AJ Bell England Squash Challenge. So I'm not surprised that all of the players that sort of fulfilled the criteria to play this have opted to uh, to come and compete. A little bit of prize money on offer as well, which as you said has been very hard to come by for most people. Yeah, and this has been put together really at short notice by England Squash. England. And they picked, I think, the top six based on ranking. And then David Campion had the, the option to pick two juniors. Alice Green just outside of juniors now. She's 19, but she was still uh, she was still picked on that basis. A nice opportunity for a player like Green to pit herself against to slightly more experienced England players. And obviously, yeah, it's good shot. Nice and tight there from Tomlinson. Tomlinson just starting it's to find a stroke away, or leave yourself stranded anyway. Tomlinson's very aware, she's on to it very quickly. I mean, that's your areas to be attacking from if you're Alice Green. The errors from Alice Green mean that Millie Tomlinson's got two game balls here. Well, that's, oh, I was going to say it's nicely closed out, but it is now. Green doing well to recover that last point there but wasn't able to recover enough and it's a nice finish from from Tom. green two already in this second game It's the defensive play, isn't it, Drew Boyer, that's lacking. She obviously loves to attack when you come up against a player. Well, again, it's the length that's winning the points now for Green. Been a really good response though from Green. She's 6 1 down in this game. Much more balance to her game. And that bit of extra patience has then opened up the front court a little bit more in these last few rallies. That's a great shot. Clever shot here from Green because it looked like she was going to go straight and then uses the angle. Green desperately clinging on in this rally. She's been hit. It's going to be a stroke, unfortunately. I don't think the referee saw the fact <laughs> that she um, absolutely clubbed her in the swing. <laughs> well, the, I mean, that's only gone into the tin because of the contact in the swing, which for me says that it's prevented the swing so it can only be a stroke so that's going to be game to Tomlinson I'd imagine then we're just waiting for the video referee to have a look at it so it confirms that it is the second game for Millie Tomlinson takes it 11-9 
There you go, there's a trademark Tomlinson. <laughs> the Volley Leisure Centre boast. Winner. Well, it, you, you would yeah, she had a phase in that second game where she was lifting a little bit more out of those corners, showing that bit more patience. And it's just being able to do that consistently. It's sort of the mental aspect of being able to, you know, show that in every single rally. She's attacking very well. That's a that's a good drive into the back to set it up. Didn't quite get the volley drop right. Nice shot, it's a good attack. Well, Tomlinson did really well to weather the storm in that rally and then turn it around and hit a winner in three front match balls for Tomlinson. And there it is, nicely finished. So a three love win to the higher ranked Tomlinson. Alice Green certainly making a really good fight of it on her first match since March. She'll be pleased to have got some court time under her belt, but disappointed that she couldn't quite close out one of those games. But the end result is three love to Millie Tomlinson in 33 minutes. She took that third game, 11-7. Good position to attack. Longest rally of the match so far. Oh. The error from Cortez. She only really needed to drive that ball. Quite a few errors already from Cortez. She's being rushed a little bit. The tactic has been uh, working quite well from Kennedy. Keeping the pace up. That nice. is a great shot. Really nice hold from Kennedy. Watch this hold and then snap of the wrist. Oof. Well, Kennedy's already up and she's onto that ball into the front very quickly. So you feel that Cortese probably has to hit a couple of extra lengths out long. Not necessarily her preferred option. But instead of going short there, she needs to send that long. Kennedy's just hunting in after the short ball every single time. See how quickly she's on to that, Gina Kennedy. That's a nice shot. That's a wicked boast from Kennedy. Finishes off that game. Impressive stuff from Kennedy. skill from Cortese. That, that was better, even though she still went short, at least she used the threat of the straight drop, which Kennedy was covering. Well, 
That's more like it from Cortese. He's attacking when Kennedy was behind her. There you go, nice and tight from Kennedy. Cortese certainly not looking comfortable on the court. <laughs> Kennedy doing well to stay on her feet there, but she just stumbled through the middle, a bit of a slip. That's nicely done, nicely taken in by Kennedy. Looking to survive, she's just slightly late onto the ball, struggling on there. Definitely not looking comfortable with her movement, is she, Cortez? Five match balls for Kennedy. Well, it's nicely finished by Georgina Kennedy. Cortez not looking herself on there. So it's well closed out, closed out by Georgina Kennedy. Really strong performance from her. It was 5-4 to Cortez and then it was all Kennedy after that. No response from Cortez. Just five minutes for the third game, 11-5. 20 minute match, Georgina Kennedy taking out Julianne Cortez. Three games to love.